we often have clients calling us, asking us if their house can be foreclosed on. There's a lot of news, front page news about for moratoriums as it relates to foreclosures. Now, you have to remember, the moratorium as it relates to foreclosures comes from the federal government. Therefore, the federal government can only control what the federal government is in control of. So if your loan is backed by the federal government, the most common ones again are Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA, or VA loans. Your home will not be foreclosed on during this pandemic. Currently, President Biden extended the, for, expended the moratorium through June of 2021. However, if your loan is not backed by the government, you are not protected under the foreclosure moratorium, which means that your house can be foreclosed on during this time. A lot of banks, even if they're private banks, are not foreclosing on homeowners because they have sympathy during this pandemic. However, that does not relate to every single homeowner and it does not relate to, it does not relate to every single private loan. Therefore, if you have any concern that your house may be in foreclosure, you need to either call an attorney or pick up the phone and call your lender and simply ask them, am I a government back loan am I, and am I approved for this moratorium, meaning that my house will not be foreclosed on. People also should remember that if you are currently in forbearance, and let's take a second to remind ourselves what forbearance is. Forbearance is a bank term that simply means your loan mortgage payments do not need to be paid right now. They are being forbeared. Another way to think of forbearance is suspension. So your loan payments are being suspended. However, each month you miss your loan payment or your mortgage payment, that balance is adding up. So let's take a very simple example. If your mortgage payment is $3,000 every month and you've been granted a six month forbearance, at the end of your forbearance, you will have an $18,000 balance with your mortgage company. Now here's the tricky part. Each mortgage company is deciding based on their own guidelines what to do with that $18,000 balance. We are dealing with clients where the mortgage companies are actually telling them, you now need to pay us the full $18,000 balance. And if you can't afford to pay us the full $18,000 balance, you need to then apply for a loan modification. This is very sticky ground, in my opinion. The reason is because during the six month forbearance, most people are having a hard time with work. If they're asking you to apply for a loan modification, you're gonna be asked to supply proof of income, bank statements, tax returns. Let's even just talk about simply proof of income. If you've lost hours or you've been laid off or you're on unemployment, and you show your bank that after a six month forbearance, they can turn around and simply deny your loan modification. If your loan modification is denied, you're gonna have an $18,000 balance due and payable. And if you're not able to come up with the $18,000 in this scenario, you can then be pushed into foreclosure. So our concern as attorneys who fight for the protection of consumers uh, in the mortgage market we're not so concerned about the actual forbearance. We're very happy to see that people are actually getting uh, sort of a break or a suspension, as I called it before, on a mortgage payment. We're concerned with what's going to happen with that mortgage payment at the end of the forbearance. We also have clients who have now extended 12, 14, and even 15-month forbearance plans. So these are people who were forbeared starting in March 2020 all the way to March 2021. They thought it would be at 12 months. President Biden extended it three more months. So now they're looking at a 15 month forbearance. So simply said, if you do the math on a $3,000 mortgage, if you haven't made a payment in 15 months, your balance with your mortgage company is be $45,000. If your loan is not government backed, it's privately owned, there is no obligation of your mortgage company to defer this balance, to forgive this balance, uh, to put it on the back end of the loan. We have to fight with them to get them to agree to do that. They won't simply do it on their own. You need, you need someone to advocate for you. You need somebody to uh, push the bank 
to show them the reason why you're in forbearance is the same reason why you need their assistance now. 